Hey everybody, it's Jeff Reno with PocketNow.com, and you recently watched us unbox the LG Nitro HD on AT&T. Well, in this next video, we're going to give you a further in-depth look at the software that comes preloaded on the LG Nitro HD and how it runs some of its apps. So, without further ado, let's dive in. And we're back. Now, one of the first things we want to take a look at is the version of Android that this device is running. Heading into our settings menu, you will see that it is running Android 2.3.5. Obviously, it's not Ice Cream Sandwich, which is Android version 4.0. However, LG has promised that this device will be upgraded in the near future. LG only has a few Android devices out there, so it's very tough to judge their track record. We'll have to see how soon that update actually arrives. Returning back to the home screen, one of the first features we want to point out here is the notification bar. It's your typical notification bar. However, LG, with their custom skin, has added some quick launch buttons here for silent mode. For example, turn off volume, go into vibrate. You can turn your Wi-Fi on and off, your Bluetooth, your GPS, or put your phone into airplane mode very quickly. The choice is yours. This does offer some shortcuts and getting things done a little faster. As mentioned, LG has put their own skin over the Android operating system here, which is typical from the non-Google experience devices, which is practically any device being sold with the manufacturer's name in the title. For example, the LG Nitro HD. Manufacturer's name in the title, therefore you're going to have a skin. That's how it sits for now, unfortunately. Many of you commented on our unboxing video that this skin closely resembles TouchWiz 3.0. And you're right, it definitely does resemble TouchWiz 3.0. It gives you almost an iOS, if that's a word, an iOS-y, if that's a word, type feel. The icons are very colorful, cartoonish almost, especially when you go into the grid option here. As you can see, they're very colorful and again, almost very cartoonish. Now, what they've done is they've separated the installed applications from this top section here and your downloaded applications down here. It has a nice feel. It allows users to see which applications they've installed in a much clearer fashion, wanting to know, was this stock, was this not? Many times, carriers and manufacturers will install trials of games, such as Madden on the phone. You'll open up Madden, waiting to play the game, to be shocked, surprised, and let down to see it's only a trial. Well, that won't happen here. You can tell what you've bought, what you've downloaded yourself. Staying with that, let's take a look at the bloatware, the carrier bloatware that's installed here by AT&T. We're going to have the AT&T code scanner, family mapping, AT&T navigator, which are all typical on the AT&T Android device phones, live TV, which uses the U-verse that AT&T offers, my AT&T, which will give you a shortcut right into your account. Now those are the AT&T applications. Notice there is visual voicemail included on here without an extra charge. But on top of that, you're also going to have for example, Get HD Games featured apps, which will bring into separate, essentially a separate market. You're going to have Mog Music, which is a music service that you'll pay a monthly fee. I believe it's ten dollars to actually download music. So the choice is yours. You may like that. Uh, we have Smart Share, Wi-Fi Share, and then of course, well, Yellow Pages and Zynga Poker HD. The nice thing, actually, believe it or not, about the Zynga Poker HD is it does truly take advantage of your high definition screen. Some of the games out there don't do so. I won't get into this, but some of the games out there don't take advantage of that high definition screen, which almost defeats the purpose of having it, not with Zynga Poker HD. If you haven't yet noticed, the LG Nitro is a little different from other Android devices because there's actually three capacitive buttons here at the bottom. We'll look more into those in our hardware review, which will be our next video. But something to show you for now is the left button here, as it's lighting up, is actually a menu and if you can see the magnifying glass, it's actually a search button as well. So a one press will bring up your settings menu, whether you be on the home screen or in an app. However, if you long press, and it may not work, it does work here, this will give you that search key. So if you're within an application, let's say you're in the market, for example, you can hold down the menu to bring up the search right from there. So it's actually kind of nice that it eliminates a key, giving this a dual purpose. You have the ability to add seven home screens with LG skin, which is nice if you're really into customizing your device and putting a lot of widgets and a lot of icons on that screen. And staying on that, they've actually incorporated essentially an animation that goes on behind. It's actually a movement or a grid 
that lines up why you're trying to move icons to show you where that icon will be. So for example, if we grab places here, and it may be tough to see with the finger in the way, but there's actually a pin there showing you, well, I should do it this way. There's actually a pin there showing you where that app, where that icon will line up. So if you're a first time Android user, even an experienced Android user, that will help, especially when you're trying to add widgets. So let's go ahead, we'll grab this widget here and we'll bring it over. So again, you can see that template is there showing you what it's really going to take up. Just kind of a nice side effect. Next up, let's take a look at the browser very quickly. This is actually one of the first times we've tested it out. Let's go ahead and bring up pocketnow.com from scratch. As you can see, it hasn't been typed in yet. So we're, we're experiencing this for the first time together here. So pocketnow.com, it may go into the mobile version at first. We can make it load the full version by scrolling down here to the bottom, clicking on desktop. Now this is on home Wi-Fi, but as you can see, it is loading fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and try and zoom in some of the text here. The zooming isn't bad at all. It's definitely not the smoothest, slightly jerky, slightly hesitant almost, uh, but it does do a fairly good job. Now it hasn't finished loading. Let's go ahead and give it a few seconds for it to finish loading before we really judge that. And it has finished loading the page. What you're seeing the occasional loading bar is actually the ad switching. So now let's go ahead and zoom and it still isn't the smoothest. There's still a slight hesitation. If you enjoyed our software overview, please give this video a thumbs up. As always, thank you very much for watching everyone. Stay tuned for our continuing coverage of the LG Nitro HD in which we will do a hardware overview, a HD recording test with the camera on the back, and our final review. For more details on the software of this device, please visit the link in this video's description. Thanks everyone.